Okay, so the book that I have been reading this past week is Blended by Sharon Draper. Um, this book follows the life of an 11-year-old named Isabella while she kind of juggles school, um, starting to kind of understand herself as well as dealing with her parents' divorce. So both of her parents are divorced and they both get into relationships that are progressing very quickly. Um, and so she kind of struggles with not really having a sense of home and a sense of identity because she doesn't really understand where she comes from at this point in time. Another struggle that she faces heavily throughout the book is the fact that her father is black and her mother is white and her dad has quite a bit of money and her mom does not have a lot of money really at all. So she tries to navigate through these struggles. This book is a great young adult book because it focuses on so many issues that so many kids face in today's world but it also has that really extra and heavy aspect of, you know, kind of the race component in it and understanding how a kid might deal with issues like this. Um, so without giving out any spoilers, because I highly recommend this book, it's a quick read. Um, it's really well written. But so without giving out any spoilers, there are two things that I feel are important enough to talk about. And one of those is the tone and the voice of this overall book. I think there's something to be said for the fact that it is told from the point of view of an 11 year old, excuse me. Um, and that's because we kind of get this tone um, or this kind of voice of innocence in a way where she doesn't really understand why people treat her differently. Um, she doesn't understand why her background isn't necessarily taught in schools. And so you kind of follow, follow her through that journey in learning those different things. Um, she has a few friends at school that she goes through this with, um, and it gets bad enough to the point where when they start talking about, you know, lynching and slavery and kind of where black history started, she actually has a friend that has a noose put in her locker. Um, and it gets pretty, it gets pretty intense and gets really raw. And having that story told from the point of view of a child kind of adds to that unfilteredness and that rawness of the overall story because we don't have those filters that us adults might have kind of in today's world. Another thing that I think was really well thought out in this book, and it's very subtle, but you kind of pick up on it over time, is the fact that Isabella, excuse me, is a piano player and she's practicing for a recital throughout the entire book. And there's a very intense, you know, storyline about how she does not feel at home at either of her houses with her parents, but the one place that she really feels at home is when she's playing that piano. And it goes into a little bit of detail every now and then about how the piano keys are black and white. And when she's playing them and she sits down and she gives all of her um, attention to that piano, it creates really beautiful music, it creates a really good harmony, but only when she feels like those piano keys are working together. I think that this is kind of an overall message from the author, but I also think it kind of adds to that innocence and kind of naive outlook on these issues from an 11-year-old because, unfortunately, even though it should be, it's just not that. That's not how society works today, and I think it kind of sets up that juxtaposition and kind of shows the reader how Isabella is moving through learning these different lessons. And I think this book could be a life changer for a student who maybe be might be struggling with these same things, especially at ages, you know, 11 to 13 or 14, because that's when they really start to form that sense of identity. So I highly recommend this book, especially if you want to incorporate any types of books in your classroom that have that diverse background. So thank you.